hey what's up youtube photographer ronnie from one photographer and welcome to another brand new color grading tutorial on this channel i'll show you guys how i color grade this image and how i got those beautiful cin cinematic warm tones for this very image and for this image first of all i want to show you guys how i corrected this because i talked about this in my previous tutorial so i'll show you guys how i corrected uh this uh, chest area to kind of match uh, the skin tones or the color of the face and I'm going to show you guys how I use dodging and burning to brighten these the hands of the model so without further ado let me just kick in and I start showing you guys how I did this and for this tutorial we're going to be learning about eye and teeth whitening and also going to be learning about color grading to get those beautiful and nice skin tones for this very image and as you can see I already did uh, the skin retouching so this was the image before and after before after then i'll sh show you guys how i color graded the image from this to this you can see uh, i wanted to just get rid of the magentas or the pink tone that was uh, in this image basically so i'm going to turn this off and first of all i'm going to create a stamp visible layer so that i can have a selection for uh this very very part of the model so i'm going to create a stamp visible layer by first of all clicking or pressing shift ctrl alt e on the keyboard to create that stamp visible layer so i'm going to come right here to the quick selection tool and i'm going to uh, select uh, the area i'm going to select the area of the chest i want to first of all blend or match uh, the color with the face so i don't know if i made sense by that statement so I'm just going to make this rough selection. So you just uh, drag or move this. You drag and hold down to make a selection. So if at all you feel like it has selected uh, an area where you don't want uh, the corrections to be applied to, just hold down the alternate button and you'll see this minus option to change from the plus to minus. So you get, you're just going to uh, subtract. Uh, the selection like that. I don't know if I made uh, a nice selection, but I think it is pretty pretty good. So as you can see, I've selected uh, this area. So I'm going to first of all hold down the alternate. I'm going to subtract the cloth of the model like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use selective color to kind of a uh, blend or match the skin tones. You can either use selective color or color balance depending on your preference. Uh, but for this very, very image, I think let's go in for a color balance. I don't know, it's right here. So we're going to try to match uh, the face with the chest area of the model. So as you can see, we have magentas. We have more of the magentas in this particular area. So we're going to try to reduce the magentas by adding so our greens to the chest area then we are going to uh, warm up that particular area too like that to negative three i think that is fine then you're going to add some little bit of uh, reds to that area too like that i i feel this is uh somehow matching so you can see the before after before after you can see uh it's kind of matches with the chest and arms of our model so like i said we are going to first of all uh, brighten up some areas uh, especially on the chest of uh, the model and we are going to be using the curves adjustment layers so remember uh this technique is also used when you're doing your global dodging and burning for your images in photoshop so just come right here and create a curves adjustment layer look for curves remember for this case we are only going to be brightening those areas that we feel like are dark so make a midpoint and drag right up like that so like that as you can see so we are going to hide or uh, the effect you can see it brightened up as the overall image so we are, we are going to make sure this white is selected the white mask and you're going to click ctrl i or command i on the keyboard to hide that effect so we are going to get a white brush and we're going to start painting in order to reveal or bring back 
uh, the brightened area. So get your brush like that and make sure I'm going to be using an opacity of around uh, 50% or let's go in for 51. Make sure it is a white brush. Make, make sure white is on top because we are going to be revealing by painting on a black mask. So that is our brush. The flow is at 100 or uh, opacity 51% and you're going to increase on the brush size. So you're going to paint over the areas you want to uh, brighten like that. You can see. Then you're going to come on the neck area and you're going to try uh, to brighten the chest area too. Like that. So basically we are kind of uh, brightening the areas we felt were really really so so dark for our liking so you shouldn't mind if at all you paint over the area you don't want to brighten at all uh, it is very simple it is so 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 simple uh, you just have to come and uh, click X and on your keyboard you can just click on this arrow and you can delete that effect from that particular area so I think this is fine so let's see before and after you can see we have just brightened up that area a little bit so what we're going to do right now we are going to be color grading this very very image so we are going to create another stamp visible layer by clicking shift Control alternate e on the keyboard to create that stamp visible layer and you're going to duplicate that layer too by clicking Ctrl or Command J on the keyboard. So we're going to uh, kind of color grade this image. First of all, my very first step for color grading the images in Photoshop is coming to selective color. And first of all, I prefer to darken uh, the blacks of all my images because uh, most of the times when I'm, I'm using camera roll, I tend to push my shadows all the way to the right. So I tend to lose out on the blacks or the contrast of uh, the image. So I'm going to come to black and I'm going to pump it uh, to around three or four. So you're going to put four. You can see it has now enhanced the darks or the blacks for the image and actually makes our image really stand out. Then the second step, I'm going to come to brightness and contrast and I'm going to uh, select all activate use legacy so i'm going to push it i prefer to push it around three so you can see the before and after it makes the image really pop a little bit more so after that first step uh i'm going first of all before applying that cinematic kind of feel to my image i'm going to first of all create another another sorry stamp visible layer by holding down shift control alternate e and this time around we're going to go to camera raw filter in photoshop so we're going to first of all duplicate this layer because i usually prefer to have a backup of my stamp visible layer every time i create it so click control or command j on the keyboard then come to filter then come to camera raw filter and under camera raw filter we're going to first of all uh we're going to first of all I'll deal away with uh, the reds in this very image and first uh, we're going to come to camera calibration so under camera calibration you're going to be having these sliders I'm um, using an older version of camera that is uh, the 2017 version I don't know the version in specific so this is how my interface is so I'm going first of all play around with the red primary and I'm going to push it to around three the hues because i want to get rid of the reds then i'm going first of all also push at uh, the saturation of the reds towards the negative because i want to get rid of the reds then i'm going to have the green primaries and i'm going to uh, push it to around a negative seven like that so you can play around with these sliders uh, to see what uh, really works best for you then you're going to come to the saturation too and we're also going to knock it all the way down because uh, it kind of added uh, greens to the image so we're going to 
push it negative eight then you're going to come to the blue primaries and you're going to push uh, these the hues to around six then you're also going to come to the saturation and you're going to knock it all the way down to around let's go in for around negative four i think this is really really fine and beautiful because personally i prefer uh warm tones so this is what i would go in for this very image so for this first step you're going to go in for the eye and teeth whitening and you're going to be using the adjustment brush or you can just click k on the keyboard click or press k is the shortcut for the adjustment brush in camera row so that is the default shortcut so we're going to first of all zoom into the eyes so get a magnifying tool and just hold down and drag towards the right to magnify like that and now you're going to get our adjustment brush tool and for this case you can see we have some colors in the white area of the eye and some kind of warm tone so in order to delete or eliminate those warm tones or the yellowness in the eyes what usually is done is first of all pushing the temperatures to around negative 29 because I found out this to be working best for me and they tend to around 71 because there are some kind of greens in the eyes too that's why i tend to push my teeth up all the way i shouldn't mind about this first step because uh, most of the times you have to uh, desaturate all these colors you have tried to adjust in the tint so the highlights i'll push it at two and the whites at four i'll leave the rest of the sliders the way they are at zero and i'll desaturate the colors because i have to remove color from the white area of the eye to around negative 74 so in this case my brush will be set up so every time you open camera and click on the adjustment brush these settings will be there that's the only advantage of using the adjustment brush tool in photoshop for eye and teeth whitening so just come and paint over at the white area of the eye so you should only be careful and paint over that white area like that so after the eye whitening you are going to be uh, learning about how i created that kind of all sort of a uh, cinematic feel for this very image yeah like adding those kind of blue tones to uh, my shadows for this very very specific image so you can see the eyes are now looking bright and you're going to do same for the teeth so and for this step you have to really be careful and take your time while uh, brushing each and uh, individual tooth because if at all you drag it you're going to desaturate uh, some color off the gums of the model so you have to be careful while uh, doing this particular step and yeah if at all you're loving this tutorial and haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, because we always drop uh, the most educative content and you learn something from this channel so basically what I'm doing I'm just uh, brushing or painting using the adjustment brush uh, to whiten uh, the teeth of our model like that you can see how amazing as uh, the image is turning out to look or be because uh, it is these tiny tiny steps that improve uh, your portrait photography levels or games and uh, your images will always stand out from uh, the rest of other retouchers out there so you have to really take your time remember this is uh, more of a beauty or glamour portrait so you wouldn't want to uh, rush you wouldn't want to rush uh, while retouching uh, this very 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 image so you can see just come and do that so let's zoom out and see what it has done you can see the magic guys so just come and click ok to apply the effects uh, we did for the color grading so basically you can see this was the image before after before after we have just transformed this image to look really nice and beautiful so we're going to add that kind of cinematic feel to the image so we're going to come to selective color and uh, click on the blacks so first of all we are going to 
come to the science and you're going to push them to around negative a uh, negative three you can see what this has just done to the image so you're going to, we're going to come to the yellows and you're going to uh push them to around negative seven like that you can see uh how beautiful and amazing are uh, the background and how uh, it has made the image to add that kind of pop so you can as well pump up the blacks to around one so you can see that's the before and after before after so let's uh, put all we have done for our color grading in a group so like that so click on it and we can uh, group we can put this in a group by clicking Ctrl or Command G on the keyboard. Uh, we're going to name this color grading. Okay, color grade. So you can see this is the image before and after, before, after, before, after. You can see how beautiful and amazing the image has turned out to look with just some simple, simple steps. But it has basically transformed the image to look really this nice and beautiful and if at all you have liked this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I don't forget to hit the notifications bell when you do subscribe. And don't forget to uh, leave a comment the comment section about any suggestion about future videos you'd love to see on this channel. I'm Ronix. You can follow me at Ronix Mutegeki on my personal Instagram and at Ronix Photography for my business account and for all my works. I'll see you in yet another retouching tutorial and stay blessed and safe.